welcome to Medilab Zone. This video is about Veni Puncture Procedure. Veni Puncture. Veni Puncture is the procedure of inserting a needle into a vein, usually for the purpose of withdrawing blood for laboratory analysis. The three veins most commonly recommended for Veni Puncture lie in the cubital fossa. These are median cubital vein, cephalic vein and basilic vein. Vein puncture procedure. Make sure participant is sitting comfortably. Lay out all blood collection supplies and necessary labels. By visual inspection and palpation, examine both arms to find the best vein. Healthy veins feel soft and bouncy and will refill when depressed. Locate the puncture site. Apply the tourniquet on the participant about 3-4 inch above the vein puncture site. Locate the vein and cleanse the area with an alcohol wipe. Wipe the area in a circular motion, making sure the area is thoroughly clean. Repeat with second wipe if necessary. 70% isopropyl alcohol swab is used here. Then allow to dry completely before proceeding with vein puncture. If it is necessary to fill the vein again, do so. But cleanse the area again with an alcohol wipe and dry. Fix the vein by pressing down the vein about 1 inch below the proposed point of entry and pull the skin taut. Remove the needle shell. Approach the vein in the same direction. The vein is running holding the needle so that it is at an approximately 30 angle or less with the participant arm. Push the needle with bevel facing up firmly and deliberately into the vein. If the needle is in the vein, blood will flow freely into the tube until vacuum tourniquet is exhausted. If no blood enters to the tube, probe for the vein once or twice until entry is indicated by blood flowing into the tube. Then remove the tourniquet. When the needle is out of the arm, press goes firmly on the puncture. Have the participants raise his arm and continue to hold the gauze in place for several minutes. This will help to prevent hematomas. Place a bandage on the participant's arm. Label all tubes with the pre-printed labels provided. Finally, the needle should be discarded into a sharp container and place all label tubes in a cool box and discard waste into biohazard container. If you have any questions, comment on below and Please subscribe this channel.